This video explains how to construct a rhombus in Geometer Sketchpad using the menu options. To start, press the fourth button down, which is the segment tool, and construct a segment by pressing down on a spot to make the first point and pressing down on another spot to make the second point. With this segment highlighted, select Construct Midpoint, which is a shortcut of Control M on a PC or Command M on a Mac. Next, select the circle tool, which is the third button down and construct a circle with the midpoint as your center and extend it to any point on our line segment. I'll stop here. Then select our original segment and our midpoint, which is the center of our circle, and go to the menu options, construct perpendicular line. You see that the circle has two intersections with the perpendicular line. These two intersections along with the endpoints of our original segment will be the vertices of our rhombus. In order to create our rhombus, select the segment tool, which is the fourth button down, and connect all the vertices to create our rhombus. So we have one of our original endpoints and we have the intersection of the circle and the line. And then I go from that point to our other endpoint, the second endpoint to the other intersection point of our circle and perpendicular line, and back to our original. Last, we're going to hide the extra segments and lines and the circle and also additional points that we do not need. So once you highlight everything, go to Display Hide Objects, which is Command H on a Mac or Control H on a PC. And we can verify that this is a rhombus by measuring the segment lengths and angle measures. First, let's do the segments. Select all of your segments and go to Measure Length and they all measure the same amount. Now let's do each angle individually and remember that the middle letter that we need to select out of three is our vertex so if I'm doing E I have to start with one of the other two points so I'll start with F and then E to G and then I'm going to go to measure angle and then I'm going to keep going around our shape to measure each one and Here's this one, measure angle, and the last one, measure angle. And if you notice that the two opposite angles are congruent, and since all four sides are the same, this is therefore a rhombus. I hope that you found this video helpful, and I hope that you have a great day.